Shalom Rastafari, Salam Tanat, Enayis Talen, Wendemoche, Hitoche. This is our other, another site, um, Line of Judah Society.org, a companion site or a sister site. Um, some of y'all might know about it, some of y'all might not have known about it, but at least we're going to show you right here, and there's a guest book. And one of I and I, um, brethren, um, a frequent contributor, and also one that's ordered many books, has pointed out some interesting questions, and we thought we had answered them, but didn't give an opportunity to just going and focusing on it directly. Um, get to the most... Um, uh, not recent, but the one from July. Move up the page. Let's go to the comment from July. I think that was the first comment in order. So this is for the I Wendem Lani Liston. Um, we came across this again, and you made a couple of other comments that were interesting. So we're going to try to briefly address it. First of all, um, I and I name is uh, misspelled right there. Just focus on that for a moment. Just you know, check it out because copy and paste, but anyway, you gave a greetings, greetings, um, Ross Iadonis, I remember you said Balaam, or Balaam, was a sorcerer, I wanted to know if there was any scriptural, you say, evidence to support this claim, well, it's kind of obvious, I mean, what sort of person is hired to curse a group of people in that particular time, I think it's very obvious that he was a sorcerer, what is sorcery? You know what I'm saying? What is sorcery and, and what does his name mean? Beor. He was the son of Beor. Um, in the Torah portion, I think that was Numbers, right? The the Orit, um, the Orit uh, Zechulque. But in the in the Jewish or the, the Hebrew um, version, is called Bamidbar or Bamidbar. And Bamidbar means in the wilderness. If you um, either would check on the, the wiki links or if you get a copy of it, it really goes into detail basically on who Balaam was. You understand? And we try to post a couple other videos in that series to speak on Balaam and Balaam's sorcery, even from the New Testament. Um, in the book of Revelation, we talk about the sin of Balaam. You understand? The sin of Balaam. It's obvious that Balaam was not a true prophet that he was into spiritual occult witchcraft, but he knew that Jah or Yah was the true God because it was Yah that basically told him not to, but you can see that he um, he was hired to curse. You know, was in and all these sacrifices. To whom, may I ask, was these sacrifices to if he was trying to curse God's people, if he was hired, if he was hired. Now, Sorcerer, if you look at sorcerer, what sorcerer mean pharmacesis. Today is um, pharmaceuticals. But we know that these are derived from plants and herbs and different type of roots and so forth and so on. And on one end, when it's used in healthiness, it's medicine. When it's used against health, spiritual, psychological, or physical, it is termed sorcery, although you may just say it's plants, herbs, so forth and so on. Now, as far as Balaam being a sorcerer, I think the evidence is there. I hope I'm, I'm, I'm pointing this out to the eye. If not, you can comment, and hopefully we'll get in touch on that one. But then we noticed that you said some other interesting things right here. From watching The Emperor, 1987, it seems to me that The Emperor was portrayed as slightly deceptive. Well, who was making that particular? Who was making that particular video? What was the purpose? Who's behind it? Who funded it? Then we can see the reasons why it has that um, portrayal of Negusenegest or Negusenegestachin. But you said it's slightly deceptive when it came to money, right? When it came to money, it says a hundred million given to foreign banks. You ask the question, how can this be? And if so, for what purpose? That is very, very good question. So the first thing we have to do is, first of all, confirm and verify this hundred million that was given to which foreign banks. There must be some paper trail. You know, all these claims about His Majesty that many of us who regarded him not so much as God, as certain rosters might, but as the Black Messiah. You know, and I'm speaking about when we were coming up and learning things. We heard about all these lies about the money, and 
he had money in foreign banks and retirements and this and that. That was all the slam of Antichrist because, because when we looked up these things, we found a lot of facts, but we didn't find anything about this. We actually found the fact that His Majesty had given much monies to we, the black peoples, and for different, even with um, who's the brother who was uh, assassinated, um, Malcolm X. The OAAU was already forwarded $30 million, you understand, to build that particular organization, but unfortunately Malcolm X kind of went ahead. He kind of um, did not be patient and build a foundation in Ethiopia, but returned and because of his disobedience, he was assassinated. Instead, if he had stayed in Ethiopia, built a foundation for other Ethiopians, perhaps his hundred million, if it is even true that it was given to foreign banks, what purpose can this be for? Let's note that he was not absent-minded concerning us, we the black people in the West. That's what the media, that's what the naysayers, that's what the slanderers always neglect. They try to make it, you know, make it seem like Hala Selassie didn't know black people. He had no dealing with black people. He didn't care about black people. Like, he did not consider himself related to. But we find testimonies from Jamaica. We find testimonies from, from one of his visits to, to Africa, Americans or to other Americas, and statements that he said and things that he did that proved his love and recognition of we, the black people of the world. We really have to look at ourselves and our leaders and the rest of them that made us go down to Egypt for civil rights and affirmative action and now look at our situation, all right? But that's a very good point right there, but really check out who, who is behind this film. You know, Google it and look up who is behind this film, who is sponsored for this film, so forth and so on, because that's exactly what they are about, false images deceiving the world. You're know saying concerning the King of Kings. Now, the hundred million. When people make these allegations about money, there must be a paper trail. There must be evidence. There's others who have also researched into this matter and found that there's, there's no evidence of this. There's absolutely no evidence of this. You know saying? Let's also ask, well, who gave up his own wealth and resources towards Ethiopia, bringing the first printing press and education, the agriculture, and the telephone networks and airplanes. I mean, there's, there's a whole list of things that His Majesty and those faithful Ethiopians contributed towards Ethiopia. That was a sham. That was foreign banks. Foreign banks. I mean, let's look at the condition of banks and, and where that whole thing is today. So I, I would not... Um, trust that until I see the actual evidence, the paper trail. You understand? That's another rumor, another slander, another claim. But you say right here, no, I do not accept these claims of His Imperial Majesty. Well, I don't know which claims you're speaking of. Um, you could clarify. Nevertheless, I am searching, and that is good seeking, you shall find, to see if there is any truth to this. Well, first of all, which claims of His Imperial Majesty? In other words, that he is the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, that he is Kedemawi Haile Selassie, that he is elect of God, that he is king of kings of Ethiopia, that the throne of David is there, that we have a 3,000 May, a 3,600-year history that connects us directly to the Bible as black people, as Africans, as Afro-Shemitic, or are you speaking of the claims of I and I as Rastafari concerning him? Remember what Christ said? Christ said that if he testified of himself, the son, as the son, Yeshua, would testify of, of, of himself, his witness is not really true, but there's another that testifies of him. His majesty's testimony is of the Christ in spirit and in truth. You understand? Now, I and I, different Rastafari, depends on their um, education and awareness, might say certain things, and this is why we have this channel and opportunity to rebuke many of those things that do not line up with. So there's many claims of His Imperial Majesty that are not His Imperial Majesty's own claims. Even when they say that He said He's not Christ or whatever like that, it's very clear that that is the listener's interpolation, but not accurate according to what is said. There's a message in that particular um, statement of his imperial majesty to Rastafari and to those faithful Ethiopians not to go along with the New World Order. Basically, don't become deceived. Don't become deluded. Anyway, Brother um, Wendem Lonnie Liston, 
This is for the eye because the eye has been faithful and responsive and, and proactive, you know, to keep in link and to contribute and to, you know, get certain books and documents. And we just wanted to just do this for the eye to make sure that you got an answer to these questions right here because perhaps you might not have gotten an answer to this previously. So for all else, for all others, just go to scroll to the top of the page just so we can show the mass head here and the website again. This is the page right here, you know, so you can go to this particular site, a guest book, some other comments and everything can be put up here. You understand, so conversate here as well as at the Facebook. You understand, some of the stuff on the Facebook comes from various different sources and, you know, it's still kind of open right there. This, we can probably continue on certain questions, statements, and just um, just sign in and at the guest book and, and, and hail, hail up, all right? So anyway, salam tanat, ena yis this is Wendem Yadam. Shalom, rastafari.